It's a special guest. This weekend, Bob Slay, we say Bob Slay, you say Bob Slay, uh, yeah. gets underway at the Sochi Olympics. Canada will be going for gold in all three events. For a golden perspective, we turn to our friend Steve Messler, 2010 gold medalist in four man for the U.S. of A. Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. Before I get started, I have to say a special hello to Tanya over at Ron McDonald House. I got to go over there. One of the many great things I get to do is every now and then I get to stop by the house and, and spend some time. So you should be up by now, and <laughs> I'll forgive you for your Justin Bieber love. Oh, oh, yeah. That's she's a, a thirteen-year-old. She's a thirteen-year-old. Oh, okay. So, if you're thirteen, you're yes. allowed to like Justin Bieber. Um, okay. Well, let's talk about the the sliding sports, bobsleigh in general. Um, I want to start by talking about the weather, because obviously we're approaching twenty degrees. Um, what kind of effect does that have? Should it have on tracks? They should be regulated. Twenty right? degrees is down in a coastal area, which yeah. is where the city of Sochi is. In the mountains, it's not that. It's right. not that warm. Um, outside of the fact that bobsledders would love it if it were 20 degrees, uh, it's air. The the this, this track itself is refrigerated, so it's not a big deal whatsoever. Okay, uh, and so then, what do you think then of the losers, our Canadian luge team? Oh. Uh, very interesting. They're making claims that potentially the track had warmed up significantly enough by the time that they went for the relay yeah. um, that it made a difference in their in their time and they ultimately came in fourth. Yeah, that kind of those kind of things do because what happens is when it gets warmer, well, you know, I mean, think about it at home, if it warms up, what do you do? You turn your air conditioning up. Well, when you turn up refrigeration on a bobsled track, you get frost. Right. Uh, so it does slow the track down if it does warm up. It you know, does it happen over that much time that quickly? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I was, you know, I was gutted for those guys. I mean, Sam yeah. Magny's a, a good friend. I know, he's a great friend, friend yeah. of yours and classroom yeah. champions also. Yeah, uh, yeah fourths. Yeah, those it's the got, worst place in sport. Well, what does that, and what does that mean to somebody, uh, you know, who's in a sport like that when it does come down to a, a tenth of a second or a hundredth of a second? Yeah. Uh, it's got to be really tough. You know, hopefully for them, it's going to, they'll remember that feeling for the next four years. I went through that in Torino in 2006. We weren't fourth, we were seventh. In 2010, we won. Uh, and if you can, if you can suck it up and decide you want to do another four years, there's nothing better than that feeling mm -hmm. for four years of training mm -hmm. to remember until your next Olympics. Let's talk about uh, the bobsleigh events that are still to come. Yes. I want to give a shout out, by the way. Helen Upperton doing a, always a great yeah. job as an analyst. Absolutely awesome. Um, okay, so what can we expect? Let's talk. Uh, I see your notes here. So let's talk yeah. about the men's two men. <clears throat> so men's two men starts this weekend. So it's an 8.15 p.m. local start, which means it's 9.15 Sunday morning here in Calgary, which means you wake up, you, you make your breakfast, you have your coffee, and then you turn on bobsleigh. Um, we've got the Canadians are, you know, I would say an outside shot right now. Right. Um, Lyndon Rush and King, Hoselis Brown, right. uh, as well as Chris Spring and Jesse Lumsden. Mm -hmm. uh, those guys are on the outside looking in. You've got a Swiss guy, Beat Hefty. You've got the American, Steve Holcomb, who won the overall World Cup, as well as Ag Alex Zubkov, who's the grizzly old Russian veteran. I mean, think about <laughs> Russia. What's old Rocky. in, what's old in Bob He's like? pushing 40, I think, right Whoa. now. Yeah. I mean, right? No, I know. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's 40 happening. years old, like, to, like, run for five seconds and slide down a hill for a minute. Like, that's something that kids do. Sure. Um, <laughs> so Zubkov is at home, on his home track with huge expectations and huge pressure. So I'm expecting him to step up. I'm not expecting him to choke. Okay, let's move to the women's. I have to thank Kaylee Humphreys, Heather Moyes. Uh, they have to be favored. Kaylee has been the dominant force on women's bobsled in the last four years. Uh, she has done something that no Canadian has done for a long time, which is just demolish the competition mm -hmm. everywhere she goes. She's the leader of the World Cup. Um, you know, she's going to be the favorite. You've got Alana Myers from the U.S. And then you've got Sandra Kyriasis, who is the veteran as well. I mean, she's pushing 40 as well. She's got two Olympic medals, uh, the most decorated women's bobsledder of all time. Uh, and she won on the track last year. It's a starter's track, which means that you're going to watch, uh, watch a very short start and a very steep ramp at that point, which means that you know, you've got to push, you've got to push hard, you've got to get in. Heather Moyes, we know, has a great start. Kaylee and Heather have got a yeah. huge start, and then curve four goes uphill, which means yeah. that the amount, of, uh, the amount of start velocity you actually get from the start down there gets carried through curve four. So if you're behind at the start, there's really no place for you to make it up until curve five, and by then it's too late. And very quickly, four-man. Four-man bobsleigh. Well, you've got Steve Holcomb, who I'm a little bit partial to. Yes. Uh, I crossed the line yeah, with these guys you, in Vancouver. You may have Those just guys won, gold medal won the fellow. they won the overall uh, World Cup uh, over between two man and four man, so they're in the favorites. You've got Alex Zubkoff, and then Lyndon Rush and Chris Spring also are right there. Mm. The Canadians this year, and I should mention Justin Cripps too. I, yes. I skipped over him. Cripps won the last World Cup race in Koenigsegg. It was his first gold medal in World Cup. So he's coming in hot too. Uh, I'm excited. It's the first time in 16 years I have, haven't been on the ground. 
So I'm pumped to actually sit and watch. Okay, so Canada could medal. Uh, we'll be watching closely. I know you will too. Absolutely. And uh, it's Canada versus U.S. sitting at this table. Uh